Hello beautiful people, welcome to Remy's Fashion. My name is Remy Fordheit. On this channel, we upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorials every week. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draft a basic bodice block, which is the foundation of all types of garments, either by manipulating the dart or through the slash and spread method. So let's get started. you will need to draft this pattern are pattern paper rulers i have a long ruler my curve my straight ruler you will need a measuring tape you will need a pencil but i'm going to be using a marker so that you can see clearly what i'm doing and then you will need a scissors paper scissors so let's get drafting so on our pattern paper i'm going to have a starting point i always like to have a starting point for every project i do so let's draw out a starting point I'm going to name this starting point my shoulder line. So I'm going to write shoulder line. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to measure out the length of my bodies, which is my half length. And I will name it my length line. My half length is 18 inches. That's for my front. For this half scale bodies that I'm drafting, the length of my front and the length of my back are not the same. I have a difference of two inches. My front length is 18 inches while my back length is 16 inches. So now I'm, I want to create a box. For me to be able to do that, I'm going to draw out the length of my bodies. We're drafting the half scale bodies. My length is 18 inches. So I'm just going to measure and I will mark. So this is the length of my box. That's the length of my front. Okay, so I'm just going to put length line. I'll just leave it as length. Okay, and then I want to turn this into a box so that I can draft my front and back basic bodies in the box. So for you to be able to turn this into a box because I want to draft my front and back bodies on this pattern. So you need the biggest measurement. The biggest stroke widest measurement for the upper part of our body for most people is the bust circumference measurement. Mine is the bust and the measurement of my bust is 44 inches. I'm going to divide 44 inches by 2. That is 22 inches. And then I'm going to add 2 inches seam allowance. And that's going to give me 24 inches. So 24 inches is what I'm going to be measuring for the two boxes for the front and for the back. So this is going to be my starting point for all my horizontal measurements and then this is my starting point for all my vertical measurements so this is the length of my body's block okay and then i'll measure 24 inches so i use my long ruler and then i will connect so 24 inches is here and then i'm going to cover up the box and then i'm confirming that is 18 inches yes 18 inches so this is my box so i have the length across like this which is 18 inches and then i have the width which is half of my bust measurement because my bust measurement is the biggest part of my upper body i measure 24 inches and rule the line and i've used that measurement to square up the box where i will draft my front and back basic bodies the vertical line is the front length measurement and the horizontal line is the half of my bust circumference measurement we will now divide this box into two so that we can draft our front and back block so I divided my bust circumference measurement into two, which was 44, which gave me 22 inches. And I added two inches seam allowance. That's how I got my 24 inches. Okay. So this width is 24 inches. I'll just put it here, 24 inches. And then my length is 18 inches. This is for the front. Once we start drafting the back, I'm going to input the back length as well. So 12 inches puts me here. I will draw a line to connect. So now I have two boxes. So this first box, I'm going to be using this to draft my back bodies. So this is going to be my center back. So I'm just going to put C, B here, center back. And then the other box is going to be my center front. And this is the second box. So I'm going to label this CF. So that once I'm working, I know, okay, this is my center front and this is my center back. And I know what I'm doing because I've labeled them. So now we're going to start drafting from the back. First thing I'm going to do is to measure out my back length. Remember that the length of my back and my front are not the same. My back length is 16. 
So I'm going to measure 16 inches from the shoulder line. 16 inches puts me here and I'll mark. And then I'll draw a horizontal line to connect the points. This is my length line, 16 inches. 18 inches for the front and 16 inches is for the back. I'm going to plot in my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 18 inches. And if I divide 18 inches by 2, it's going to give me 9 inches. So I will measure 9 inches. And 9 inches puts me here. I will mark. We will now measure out our neck depth and our neck width. I'm going to be using the standard measurements for the neck depth and neck width. I'm going to be using a width of 3 inches and a depth of 1 inch for the back. So 3 inches width. 1 inch down. I will draw out my lines and connect. I'm using 1 inch for the back neck because the back neck is usually higher than the front for most styles. So now I've measured that and this is what it looks like. The next thing I'm going to do now is to slope the shoulder by 1 inch. This is because our shoulders are not straight. This is our shoulder mark. So I'm just going to measure one inch down like this i'll just put a dot there so that's one inch and then i'll connect it to the neck width like this so that's our shoulder slope to create the armhole curve for that we need our armhole depth measurement just like i mentioned in my previous tutorial on how to take accurate body measurement i promise to share the formula and that formula is first divided by six and then you add 1.5 inches mine is 44 inches by the time I divide that by 6, I'm going to get 7.3333. And then when I add 1.5 inches, it's going to give me 8.8333. I will approximate it to 9 inches. So I'm going to measure 9 inches from the shoulder slope. So I measure 9 inches down. I will mark. I'm going to square up the line all the way down to the front because we're going to be using the same length. And because... I remove one inch from here just to make it easier i'll add back the one inch so that will be 10 inches so i'm just going to measure 10 inches from my shoulder 10 inches so i'm going to take this line all the way down to the front bodies so this is the front side so i'm going to measure 10 inches and then i'm going to draw a line all the way down And this line, I'm going to name it my chest line. So this is my chest line. I'm just going to put chest line. So this is my chest line or upper bust line. And I've labeled it chest line. It's the same thing. So I'm just going to rule a line down. The next thing we're going to do now is to create our armhole curve. To create our armhole curve, we will find the midpoint of our armhole line. This is where we will put in our back width measurement. We have a tutorial on this channel on how to take accurate body measurement. You can check that out. You understand how we got the back width and the front width measurement. I'll put the link in the description box below and on the cards above. So the midpoint of our line, we already know that this line is 9 inches. So half of 9 inches is 4.5 inches. So the midpoint is going to be 4.5. I'm just going to mark. This is my 4.5 inches. So I'm going to go up by... 4.5 again on here 4.5 just for me to have a straight line and this is 4.5 and then i'm going to connect the points so i'm going to do the same with my front as well so this is going to be my back width measurement okay so i'm going to rule this line across to the front so our midpoint is 4.5 inches i'll measure This is where we're going to put our front width measurement. So now I'm going to input my back width measurement on there. My back width is 17 inches. By the time I divide that by 2, it's going to give me 8.5 inches. So I'm going to measure from the center back 8.5 inches. 8.5 inches puts me here. And then I'll mark. This is 8.5 inches. And then I'm going to input my bust circumference measurement on my chest line. My bust circumference measurement is 44 inches. By the time I divide that by 4, it's going to give me 11 inches. So I'm going to measure 11 inches on my chest line. So 11 inches puts me here. And then I will mark. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to draw out our armhole curve for the back. So I'm going to use a straight ruler to connect from my shoulder slope to the back width with a straight line. 
like this and then i'm going to draw a curve from the midpoint to my horizontal measurement like this so this is our armhole curve for the back so the next thing is to plot in the circumference of my waist my waist circumference measurement is 38 inches by the time i divide that by four it's going to give me 9.5 inches i'm going to add one inch that allowance and that will give me 10.5 inches on my waistline this is the waistline for my back I'm going to measure 10.5 inches. That includes my 1 inch dart allowance. So 10.5 inches puts me here. I will mark like this. And then I will now connect from my chest line to my waistline. Like this. The next thing we're going to do now is to measure out our boss span measurement because I want to impute my dart. So my boss span measurement, which is also the nipple to nipple measurement, and mine is 9 inches. By the time I divide that by 2, it's going to give me 4.5 inches. So I'm going to measure that on the chest line and on the waistline. So 4.5 inches will put me here. And then I'll measure 4.5 as well on my waistline. That puts me here. And then on the bust line, I'm going to go down by 1 inch. So I'm going to connect with a straight line down to the waist like this and then because I'm using one inch that allowance so I'm going to take half inch on each side of the line and then I will join to the top I'm going to draw out my dart legs like this so this is my dart for the back so this is the back to eliminate the back puff, I will go in by half an inch on the waistline. I want to eliminate the puff we usually see at the back of garments. So I'm just going to go in by half an inch. And then I'm going to connect that half an inch to my back width. So I'm just going to connect it like this. So this is our back basic block. It's all done. It's all completed. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do now is to finish up the front and then we'll cut it out. This is the box for the front. So we're going to be drafting on that box. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw out my vertical measurements. So that's from the shoulder to my bust. We've already drawn out the waist. So all that is left is from shoulder to my bust. Mine is 12 inches. So I'll measure and I'll mark. And then I'll draw a horizontal line to connect the points. This is my bust line. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to plot in my shoulder measurement, which as calculated is nine inches. I'm going to plot in it towards the armhole of my back bodies. Nine inches puts me here. And then I'm going to be using the standard measurement of three inches by three inches. So it's going to be three inches depth and the width is going to be three inches as well. I'll form a box and then I will draw out my neckline. I'm just going to measure one inch at an angle like this. I will now draw out my neckline. So I drew out the neckline and we're using three inches by three inches because we're drafting a basic block. We do not have a style yet. We can change this according to the style that we want to create. Remember when we were taking our body measurement, I mentioned that we will use the standard neck width and neck depth of three inches by three inches for the front because we're drafting a basic block. We do not have a style yet and we can change this according to the style that we want to create. If you have not watched that video, I will link that video in the description box below and on the cards above. Do check it out. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to slope our shoulder by 1.5 inches. Remember at the back, I sloped it by 1 inch. But for the front, I'm going to be doing that by 1.5 inches for a very good fit. So I'm going to come down 1.5 inches. That puts me here. And then I'm going to connect that point to my neck width, just like I did for the front. Like this. Okay. And then I'm going to draw that line down to the chest line. Just draw it straight down to the chest line. Like this. This is the line we're going to be drawing our armhole curve. And for us to do that, I need to plot in my front width measurement on my front width line. And my front width measurement is 16 inches. By the time I divide that by 2, it's going to give me 8 inches. So I'm going to measure 8 inches. 8 inches will put me here and I will mark. So this is my 8 inches. And then I will draw a straight line from my shoulder slope down to my 8 inches point. Like this. 
and then I'll plot in my bust circumference measurement on my chest line. And my bust circumference measurement is 11 inches after calculation. So I will measure 11 inches from the center front. It's going to put me here and I will mark. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect that line from my front width to my upper bust line using my curve. I'm going to connect. So this is our armhole curve. For the front. The next one I'm going to plot in now is my waist circumference measurement. My waist circumference measurement is 38 inches. By the time I divide that by 4 is 9.5 inches. I'm going to add 1 inch that and that was going to give me 10.5 inches and I will mark on my waistline. 10.5 inches 10.5 puts me here i'll mark and then i'll connect that line to my chest line like this the next thing we're going to do now is to draft out our darts and to do that i'm going to plot in my bust span measurement which is also known as nipple to nipple measurement mine is nine inches by the time i divide that by two it's going to give me 4.5 inches and i'm going to measure from my center front i'll measure 4.5 inches on my chest line bust line and waistline 4.5 puts me here 4.5 inches on my bust line and 4.5 inches on my waist line and then i'm going to measure one inch down from the chest line one inch because i do not want to draw my dart on the apex of my bust so one inch down and then i'll connect the lines using a straight ruler like this and then i'm drawing in one inch dart so i'm going to be taking half an inch on each side on the waistline half an inch and then i will draw in dark legs like this so that is our front dart so now this is the front we've done the dart my front length is 18 inches while my back length is 16 inches so we have a difference of two inches between my front and my back length we we'll need to make sure that they align when you're connecting both of them together so in order to do that this is where our bust that comes in the bust that helps to align the front and the back length together the difference between my front and my back is two inches so i'm going to cover up that difference by drafting out my bust that the next thing we're going to do is to create our bust that i'm going to measure one inch from our bust span measurement towards the side front the reason why we're doing that is we do not want to draw our side that on the bust point. So one inch away from it will put me here. Okay. Once you know the difference between your front and your back, then you can take out that difference from the side. So mine is two inches. So I'm just going to measure two inches down from my chest line. Two inches puts me here. And then I'm going to join this to that one inch. I'll now draw it to the one inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is to find the midpoint between the here and my two inches. The midpoint is one inch. So I'll measure and I'll mark one inch here. I'll draw to meet this one inch that we came out like this. So that is our boss dart. I'm going to draw out like a diamond so that when I want to sew in the boss dart so that it will not be short. That is even indicating that you have the boss dart there. For me to indicate that there's a boss dart there, I can just measure half an inch. And then I'll just connect. So when we close this dart, our front and back bodies will match. So now we finish drafting our front and back bodies. So these are our front and back basic bodies block. And these are the foundation of all our garments. So now I'm going to cut them out. And then I will show you what they look like. my pattern pieces my back and my front so i'm just going to write my back back block and my front my front bodies after 
cutting out our basic bodies block this is what they look like the front and the back i'm not going to be adding allowances to my half scale block because i'll keep this as a master copy and we'll be using them as a foundation for most of the styles and designs we'll be creating on this channel hope this tutorial was helpful please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions please write them in the comment section below thank you for watching see you in our next tutorial take care and god bless